Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, January the 2nd, 2017, and I hope everyone is having a beautiful day in the Lord. It's a um, rainy morning here in North Jersey. I like the rain. Um, I have a couple of devotionals for you today, but first I'd like to say the Our Father, so please join me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thank you, Father, for another day and all these ministries and all these wonderful people. And thank you for your healing and your answering prayer, your presence, your holy communion. Uh, thank you for putting us here in these days, Father, which are very exciting days. Where you're going to break the veil and show yourself to many, many people. My Father, I love you so much. Can't wait to come home. <laughs> You're the best father. Mm. You know how I feel about you. I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> All right, I have to put my eyes on. Where did they go? Okay. This is called Warnings for Good. Interesting title, right? Keep my commandments and live, and my teaching as the apple of your eye, in Proverbs 7 2. If Jesus' death on the cross forgave our sin, past, present, and future, why should you and I continue to live by God's commands? Why is it important? To answer, I would direct you to the words of the Apostle Paul. Quotes, it was for freedom that Christ set us free. Therefore, keep standing firm and do not be subject again to a yoke of slavery. Um, remember, sin is bondage. Jesus didn't die on the cross so that you would continue being enslaved to the very things that were destroying you. He freed you so that you can experience an abundant life. This is why we experience the internal pressure of conviction when we disobey the Lord. There are even things that we may be at liberty to do that would actually lead us back into emotional, spiritual, and physical bondage. So God warns us against them for our safety and benefit. The Apostle Paul explains, quotes, All things are lawful for me, but not all things are profitable. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be mastered by anything. The Father is looking out for you and wants to protect you from any destructive consequences. If the Holy Spirit is convicting you of sin, do not wait any longer. Confess it to God and allow him to free you from it. You can always be certain that your Heavenly Father speaks for your benefit to keep you free, safe, and joyful. Therefore, if He alerts you to danger, don't proceed on the path to destruction. Run the other way. And a prayer we can say is, Father, I know that you lead me on the path to life at its best. I will obey your commands and trust you always. Amen. Yeah, because, you know, there's pleasure in sin. There is an awful lot of pleasure in sin. And um, our flesh delights in the sin. But there's a very high price for it, and that's bondage. And you can't break that bondage yourself. Christ is the only one that could break the chains of bondage. So if he breaks it, and you enter back in, you need to just offer it up again and and pray to him to release you again. 
um, you know, it's a snare. The flesh is a big snare. The spirit is what sets you free. The spirit of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. This next one is called, Who Helps You? From everlasting I was established from the beginning, from the earliest times of the earth. And that's from Proverbs 8.23. The trials and burdens you face today will seem overwhelming as long as you attempt to handle them in your own strength. But when you look at them in terms of what the Sovereign Lord can do, nothing will seem impossible to you. This is because you are assured that the one who established wisdom from the foundation of the earth lovingly helps you. So regardless of what happens today, keep these two facts in mind. First, the Lord loves you unconditionally and wants the best for you. The Apostle Paul asks, He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him over for all of us, how will he not also with him freely give us all things? Do you believe the Lord would willingly sacrifice so much for you and then leave you helpless? Of course he wouldn't. Therefore, you don't have to wonder if the Father has your best interest at heart. He absolutely does and will help you no matter what you face. Second, the Lord has both the wisdom and the power to help you. Not only is the Father willing to assist you, he is capable of doing so in ways that you could never imagine. God is omnipotent, which means all-powerful, omni, omniscient, which is all-knowing, and omnipresent, which is simultaneously existing everywhere at once, which is possible because he is outside of time and the limitations of this world. There is nothing you could face that requires more strength or knowledge than he possesses. With such an awesome defender available to you, do you really ever have any cause for fear? Certainly you don't. Allow the immense support and provision that is available for you as a believer to fill you with faith and courage and confidence. And a prayer we can say is, Father, truly all things are possible to him who believe. And that's from Mark 9.23. Thank you, Lord, for helping me in everything I face. Amen. Yeah, beautiful devotionals. I hope they spoke to you today. And... um. I always pray before I come on here to read that the Father would reach out and touch whoever needs to hear these devotionals. Um, plenty of times they speak to me. They center me right back if I'm troubled in my heart, you know, or I have some conflict of some sort. Uh, but. Um, the Lord is amazing, people. You, you're not going to get a better creator than the Almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit. I love you, people. Jesus Christ loves you. Never forget how much he loves you. He's coming very, very soon. Keep looking up. Have a blessed day.